Welcome back again to another episode of The Scamp, the Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park Scamp. <laughs> the aim, this is at the start of the video, so I haven't done nothing yet, is to test drive this. We had a little sneaky test drive when I was at the NEC in March, uh, but since then, no proper road. It's now insured, it's, it's, it's ready to go. Um, but we've still got some jobs to do on it. Um, and we're trying to get it ready for the scamp picnic, which I'm going to trailer it to anyway, because then it's a bit of off-road fun. And so at least I'm, I'm still going to do that. But it'd be nice to try and get it out and get it to a car show a little bit before that as a bit of a test one. But yeah, uh, we've got shock absorb. We'll, we'll just get on with it. I bought the uh, other seat down, which I haven't covered, which I need to recover. We've got lots to do. We've got the list. Let's crack on. Just going to start off with a couple of simple jobs. I've got the fuse box just to screw down, put some change of my earth wire and the little dash that I've got. Move some of the wires around to the earth, make an earth point. And then go from there, maybe tie wrap the wires up and things like that, get the grill back on. Okay, tie wrap finally on that CV boot. We can finally tick that off the list. Got my little motorbike dash wired up, only two wires. So I have tried spending a bit of time trying to hack it to try and customize it a little bit, but uh, it's a bit beyond me just at the moment. Uh, so yeah, ah, it'll do for now. The main thing is it's got Apple CarPlay on there, which is quite cool just for sat nav. Not that we're gonna drive very far. And now I've got some of these stainless steel clamps to go on the exhaust. So get under the car and do that. Okay, getting near the uh, end of this session. Uh, I've tidied up all the front, the wiring's done on the front there. I've tidied up and clip, clipped the wires. I've basically made some little aluminium brackets just to sort of clip and I uh, drilled and tapped the frame just to sort of make little clips just to hold the loom. We'll see how that does. So moved on, I've modified the bra Brackets, seat mount brackets to lower that. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I've put the other side in at the moment. I've also just put the, the I've bought some three point fixed harnesses. So I'm just playing about with those and just seeing how they work. I've just got to figure out, I think I figured out how I'm gonna bolt it to the floor. So uh, that's that. And yeah, and as I said, I've just created some, I just got to cut this one down. I'm just gonna drill a hole through there and basically they go underneath the frame and then the conduit at the back here runs through that and that holds it in place up above the exhaust. So I'm just gonna fit that and then we're out of here. Okie dokie, I'm off. Little meat feast pizzas tonight the best mm. um, but they are doing a deal at the moment two pizzas and a bed and jerry's for five pound if you're in a co-op member and you're supposed to get 4.99 voucher for amazon to watch a film can't get that bit to work at the moment trying to upload my receipt and stuff but let's not go there anyway let's go pick my son up from work and uh think about the next jobs for tomorrow we're back next day it's the weekend where it was very hot and it's gonna be a hot one today so my head's, my head's saying that we should get on and weld up the other passenger seat mounts before it gets too hot. But the other part of my brain says, let's just muck about with the number plate because that's easy maybe and I don't have to get changed or anything. I can just do that clean. Let's find out what we're about to do. Which part of my brain wins? And I might get a haircut soon at the end of this video so you might suddenly See my hair disappear. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, I 3D printed this adapter thing. Um, 
hooks onto one of the stud holes on the bottom. I then printed a like a little right, little knobby thing to go on the back that screws on with a captive nut in the plastic. That gives me a, a frame that I can then remove without using nuts and bolts and spanners and things. A bit of aluminium left over from somewhere. That's going to be a support for the number plate that will go on there, which we 3D printed. Some little hinge brackets which make this flop about. I don't quite know whether I like this now or not. I, I don't know whether I should just go for a number plate on the bottom and don't worry about when the uh, tailgate is down, which will hardly ever be. Okay, I've got both brackets made now, both sides. I put some masking tape on the existing floor holes just so I can then see the, the alignment. I wasn't expecting to use it, but it looks like I can. And so what I'm thinking is we'll get them in the rough in the right position where we're happy with them. The passenger side slid forward on its runner, so that's okay, I'm not worried about that. Uh and then we're marked underneath, I think. And then I'm gonna drill through, and then actually, I think I'm gonna weld some stainless bolts to the inside here, so they can just drop in, and then we can just get underneath with some nuts and bolts and uh, do them up from underneath, because it was a pain in the ass trying to get underneath and put a spanner on this side with an arm on the other side, blah, blah, blah. Captive bolt with a little bit of hole and what we do, we put some plates underneath as well. So we've still got some room to adjust. You can elongate holes, etc. I think I'll do. Find out, won't we? Okay, moment of truth. Uh... There we go. They're very specific. Design for certain sides only. I've opened up the hole slightly in the floor as well, as I said. A bit of adjustment, I lose a bit of adjustment now because obviously you don't have any wiggle room in this. Well, we've welded the uh, studs. Obviously I've got some adjustment holes on the, if I wanted to move these seats. What I need to do is build up a little spacer because obviously, as I said, there, yeah, I think they'll be all right. Got some nylocks and some spreader plates to go underneath. Okay, driver's seat bolted in, nipped up a little bit. Need some nylocks on there, but the seat's got to come out, I've got to recover it. There's mostly something I could mostly do. I might change the design slightly before I go any further on the other side, just where because there is a cross member that goes across there, and I stupidly put the the studs quite close where the original holes were and they were quite close to the uh, cross member anyway. Anyway, let's just go to the back and get some opinions and views. Now, I don't know what's the best view there. Is that right? I don't know, I'm not, I don't know. I've only just stuck the number plate on with some masking tape underneath just so it's not perfect. I don't know. Obviously I was supposed to have a tire on there as well. And the idea is that this yeah, should swing out. Down like that, you see. Oh, I don't know whether just to put it down the bottom there. Okay, it's a evening where it's been a very hot day i've only just got down here you might see a continuity error somewhere anyway i've got myself a little chicken and cucumber sandwich roll i'm gonna play about with some bits just waiting for the heat to die down a little bit before we finish welding up 
the seat brackets. I need to double check up. I'm leaving the wheels right to the last minute because I've got some new tyres for the 12 inch wheels just to at least I've got something to drive on that's sort of half decent. Um, so we need to just double bleed the brakes again. Uh, fit the gear linkage boot and just make sure that this, it's in the socket. Let's see if we just get everything else done under the car because then we know it's ready to go back onto its wheels. That's what I think anyway. Okay, I swapped the wheel over to the 12 inch one just so I wanted to test stuff. And uh, yeah, this 3D printed thing I didn't fit perfectly, but I've ended up reusing the, I bought some stainless buttons for the grill at the front, which were too long, but they're perfect for that. And then I've used one at the bottom, one at the top, and it seems to work really well. So I had a problem with the earth and I've had to redo the earth. Well, it was missing. I must have pulled it off when I was painting or something. Anyway, I've redone that, used that as well as a clip to hold the thing up. I've just got to sort of pull up that wire somehow, make a little clip for it somewhere. Uh, and then yeah, light bulbs all painted in. I need to put proper command strips on the back of that number plate instead of masking tape. And look, we we light up the O and the and the one one. So I'll keep the coppers happy at night, won't it? So yeah, it is warm down here. But getting closer to the test drive. Not in this section of the video, but hopefully we get back down. And uh, yeah, I was hoping to do a car show this coming Saturday, but I realised it's full. So we're going to use Saturday's mostly the test drive day and there's a car show on the Sunday that if everything goes okay to you, we'll, we'll attempt to try and take it there. And then next weekend after that is the uh, scamp picnic. We're going to win a trophy, I hope. Oh, gear lever boot on. Seat bolted down this side. I've just realised I've, I've attached them to the front point. I need to move the seat back, but I might be able to just slide that back anyway. Got the seat belts bolted in at the moment. Fairly happy with that. And uh, yeah, so it's all a bit tight in there, but it's a mini, isn't it? Uh, wheels off, because I'm gonna take them home now, because I'm thinking hopefully maybe the tires will turn up tomorrow and I can try and find somebody to fit them. Don't know how much it costs us to fit wheels. Pete, mate, is on holiday, which is very rude of him. Hey, Pete, hey, hope you're enjoying it. I'm gonna have to pay someone to fit my wheels now. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm going home, it's hot. Okay, we're back again the next evening. It's definitely a little bit cooler. Got a chicken sandwich again. That is the end of the chicken now. We've used all the roast chicken up. So yeah, we're gonna try and get the final few jobs done ready for test drive. We've got the wheels we could put on, but I think I've run out of time today, but I've got a bit more time in a few days time. And I might be able to get the new tires fitted, which they're not my knobbly tires, they're just some cheap um, 12 inch tires, which I'm gonna put on. If I can sort out the 10 inch, um, Barry's lent me some. Uh, 10 inch wellers on top of the other ones that he gave me uh, with nobody's on but I need to get some other tyres fitted blah 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 but we, at the end, what, what we might do <sighs> in a couple of hours time when we have to go home we might just pop two of the, his wellers on with nobody tyres on one side just to take a little sneaky peek see what it looks like and send it to him to keep him happy and get him off my back anyway uh, we've got the other seat mounts to make we've got the Bleeding of the brakes to do again, just to double check. We adjust the rear drums. We've got some double-sided tape for the number plates. Uh, sort the bonnet pins out, maybe. Not much to do there, really. And the switch panel is the main one, because that's just falling down at the moment. I really need to take that off. So we may do that first. Let's get that off, because I think you've got to undo the whole choke cable to get it off. Because I want to just get a bit of satin black on it, because everything looks good in satin black, doesn't it? All right, let's keep on going. I swapped over to the new battery the other day. And uh, it, it starts on the button, much better now. Let's have a see. Okay, I've got no choke on, so give me that, give me that. But yeah, I think it definitely helps having a bigger battery on it, it gets a spark going, keeps going. Good, 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 good. Anyway, other things, what have I done? Add these wing mirrors left over from the, the Jeep. Uh, they came, these wing mirrors here, hang on, there we go. They came with uh, the Jeep, and you're supposed to pop them on there when you've got your doors off, these pop into the old hinge brackets. But anyway, don't have the Jeep here, and blah, 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 it's an hibernation, and you wouldn't have used these anyway, because they weren't screen accurate. Not that I need wing mirrors on this, I don't think, so the, the age. But I did print up some brackets, and I just guessed the dimensions, and wow, I went too far off. So I don't know. 
Yeah, that's my thoughts. They look all right, actually. So I may pop them on. I may pop them on, 3D printed those and all that sort of stuff. I don't know how long it'll last. But anyway, uh, let's take the dash out, the little dash. Okay, while that's drying, I'm just going to nip around. I've got the wing mirror chest fitted. Daughter likes it. I think it's good. I think it may be good. good come on. I don't, I don't want to mount, I couldn't mount it any higher without doing too much changes, but I could do. But anyway, yeah, I like them. Makes me legal, not legal. I don't know. This age car doesn't matter. Um, don't even have to have seatbelts, I don't expect. Anyway, I'm going to bleed the brakes and adjust the rear drums back up where well, I slackened them off ages ago for where the handbrake caused an issue. I'm gonna just have to park the handbrake issue for now. All I'm gonna do is just get it down the ground and then just readjust it on the handbrake and you're just gonna to have to pull the handbrake even further. It'll do for now. I've got a new handbrake and set up which I want to play with, but that's not happening in this video anytime soon. Okay, a couple of votes came in from the daughter and a friend. They said, go for it, so we did. I trimmed it down a little bit and uh, put a nylock on it. A little bit guitar-y. Uh, but we'll have to just see because I've just mounted it through the thin aluminium. But there is some box here which I can reprint this bracket a bit bigger and actually screw into it. I just didn't want to go too bizarre to start with, so we'll just see how it goes. It's just to see the uh, reversing cyclist coming up behind me. Hey, hello! Okay, time to bolt the passenger seat in. Just going to elongate the rear hole slightly just to move them away from the cross member just so we've got room for washers and to even get the socket on. And then we'll bolt that down. Oh, I need to make some spaces for the front. I'll do that first before the time lapse. Okay, that seat's in, I've just got to move it back. It's always been on the forward set and I don't know why. But anyway, that's bolted in. I think we'll take the seat out. We can maybe take that home and recover it early mornings. Tomorrow evening, because I can't get down here tomorrow evening. Uh, yeah. See what the time's like, but I think we need to bolt some wheels on, see what it looks like. Just do that shock mount up as well. I've got new bolts for the top shock mounts as well, which we need to fit at some point, but not desperate. Oh, cheers, Barry. They look good, chunky, chunky. Obviously, it's all still jacked up in the air at the moment. So it'll definitely come down. So I don't know what wheels we'll end up with completely. Uh, these are just on loan, but I've only got two and I've got to sort the other two out. Anyway, we'll mostly end up just running on the 12 inches for the moment. Because uh, I'll get some nice new tyres on those, even though they're not knobbly. But yeah, it'll just do for now. So we're gonna pack up for the night, head home. The to-do list is a lot smaller, I think. Next time we come down here, I think we're getting close to giving it a drive. Yeah, boy. Okay, we didn't video everything. I had issues with the things being flooded. I had to change the plugs on it. I think it's just where I've been starting it very quickly. The old carb cars, carb cars, don't really like that, especially if you do it quite a lot and also if they're not perfectly set up. So, old wheels back on for now, just for a bit of a test drive. I've got new tyres turning up today. Maybe, need to get them fitted, ready for the weekend, but this will be safe enough, I'm sure, for a quick poodle around the block just to see everything's all right. I've adjusted the handbrake off now as well, so it rolls. Oh, I don't want to get it dirty. I should put clean clothes on really, but I feel that. I think dirty clothes might be bad. It's still getting just.
Well, we've moved. We've moved. Got it outside, more adjusting of the handbrake. <sighs> That's been a lot of work over the last few months. Hello, Lemmy. Now, do we test drive it or not? It feels so weird driving new vehicles, especially these sort of vehicles. They're just seating position is all weird you've got no doors no red <sighs> pedals that throttle pedal well the, the basically the wheel arch is too big really but i guess it's designed like that just to clear the wheels so i know some of the boys move the brake pedal across a little bit so at the moment my foot just skims the, the brake pedal which isn't ideal you don't want to get your foot trapped under there yeah i'm sure haven't got nice wheels yet but Let's take it over to the gravel there and take some pictures. <laughs> That's looking pretty, 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 pretty. It is what it is. Paint job's not too close. I've got overspray, I've got runs, I've got all sorts. But it's a drive-by. <sighs> driven it but we're getting a little bit of overheating which shouldn't have been doing that really I'm a little bit dubious about the head gasket we should do a compression test you know it's bubbling away it's been coming out of the overflow it's definitely not cooling right that might be coming out my modified temperature sensor but yeah, it's a boiling away, it's a little bit warm. So yeah, we're definitely not test driving it. Not today. I think I'm gonna do a little wrap up of this video at the moment because I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to give the film to edit to Madison or whatever, but I think it's quite a long video. Anyway, we got it moving. We got it to the farm gate twice, twice. Um, tracking didn't feel brilliant or something was skipping. So we need to double check that. But the bigger concern is the overheating. So is it radio is not working right? Is it head gasket issues? Is it thermostat stuck shut? So it's not letting anything through. It's not hot, hot today. It shouldn't have been all right. We're only ticking over. So something's not quite right. But if you like what you like, can you hit the like button, please? But let me know what you're having for dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna go to Weatherspoons tonight. Um, on the type of this video, Mouse, and you'd be pleased about that, won't you? And yeah, we get, we're close, we're close to the scam picnic. We're going to trailer anyway and have some fun anyway, and we can just muck about and for the weekend. It'd be nice to get it to a car show this weekend coming, but 
you've got to build up your confidence of these cars when you build these cars everything's new everything doesn't feel right or weird or, you know it's but we're there we're there we're, we're nearly there we're nearly. right catch you in the next one guys sorry it wasn't a full test drive next time i promise to be continued sit rep uh i uh chat to my dad he said check the thermostat yeah i thought i'd take the thermostat housing off Suki Swift.